Hi guys, welcome back to Cardi Books. If you are a new subscriber, you're welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you for coming back. So this is my August wrap-up video. I want to share with you guys what I read in August, okay? So let's jump right into this video, guys. Hi guys, my name is Kari. I just want to do my August wrap up with you guys to share with you what I read. So most of my reading was done on my phone. You know, I had explained to you guys some reading apps I use on my phone. And then the most important one, which is the one I just even found out recently, is Book Breaks by Alo Queen. And uh, basically, I want to share with you guys um, for the month. I want to share with you guys what I've read for the month of August 2022. Um, so I've read like several books. I was only able to read like one ad copy book which is The Bridegroom. If you have seen my um, August to be read, I mentioned like the books I want to read. But I was only able to read this because I was in transit throughout the month of August. I was traveling from one city in from Lagos to Badon to Badon to to Ugo State, you know, like different cities in Nigeria. Okay, basically just like four cities in Nigeria, okay? Um which covers across four states so i wasn't able to like, carry all the books i plan to read but i took this one with me and i read it i just want to share with you guys the books i've read for august so book break let's go ahead to open book break i read like four books on my book break reader and i read one at copy so that makes it five books that i read for i read for the month of august okay the first book i read on um, book break was sharing a beach house by jules bennett okay um I enjoyed this book because it's, uh, I, you know I love romance, I've said this several times on my channel that I love romance, so so um, this Sharing a Beach House by Julie Bennett is a book I really enjoyed, you know, it was like best friends, like um, she went to the beach house and then she found her brother's best friend there, you know, and then you know, because of they have sparks, but they have been denying their sparks for a while, and they shall had to stay together in the lake house and they had to stay together in the beach house and then you know things happen things happen only for them to find out that it was their brother that set them up it's an amazing amazing read you need to try check it out so the second book i read on my book break is diamond and desire by sarah morgan now this book is about alexander kozatis he built an empire from nothing okay and along the way he learned that he could trust nobody but too bad for his little sister elena she's so naive she's letting a new best friend take advantage of her um wealth and generous generosity so in order to prove that ma uh, madame rostobov that's the name of the madame okay who is the fortune teller so in order to prove that this fortune teller is not a fortune like this fortune hunter is not a fortune teller okay alexander planned to tempt the gold digger with a better offer convinced that she would ditch elin without a thought so lauren banks never could have predicted that she went up substituting for the missing fortune teller at a glittering celebrity gala okay so lauren banks is the girl in our novel okay and um but it's either that she gets fired or she has to substitute for the missing fortune teller. You know that the guy in our book, that's Alexandros, he wants to he wants to tempt the gold digger, which is meant to be like the um, fortune teller. And the fortune teller that wants to hang out with as is the fortune teller that wants to hang out with his daughter. Um, the fortune teller that wants to hang out with his sister. Unknowingly for them, you know, when he got to the party, he now found the fortune teller. He thought the fortune teller was the girl that he was supposed to hang out with his sister. But the fortune teller eventually was another person. You know, he did the whole thing. thing. But the story, so I love the ending of the story. So I think that you should, you know, check it out. It's amazing, guys. So guys, I know that... Um, so guys, I know that I might seem weird, but I am a big fan of romance. So... Most of the books I read is romance. If it's not historical, it's, it's a bit, I don't know. I share a lot of romance. So any type of romance moves with me. I read the nocturnal novel this month on the book break, but somehow, somehow, I did not like um, save it. So I can't remember the name. But it was about uh, it was about Demon Sha. So the third book that I read on book break is If You Dare by Isabel Sharp. The next book I read for the month of August was The Ultimate Proposal. This was my favorite book of the month, guys. Like, I was so in love with this book. You know, the book was 
about a girl that she wanted to let her father mm -hmm. know that she's alive, you know, and that um, she just wanted to let him know to get back at him for whatever, for abandoning her mother, okay? And then there was this for that guy, you know, the guy that everybody was scared of uh, because it's so like she was angry and it should have helped her. It was like, okay, so I'll help you meet your father in exchange, you have to give me something, okay? So she actually helped her to meet her father. She told her father to the face that this is the daughter that you abandoned that you wanted to to not have and that she just wanted to rub it off on his face. Do you understand? So the guy, so her name is Ali um Sabina Gold and um the guy's name is Luciana Herrera, okay? So in other words, she shall got pregnant, but she didn't let him know. So like three to four months later, he had to like inherit his father's company. So he needed somebody to pose as his wife. So it was like since he liked her and she had like the jails, like they have an understanding that she, he was giving her a proposal to be his wife for a certain period of time. Until he now found that she was pregnant, and it was not like her that there's no way that he's going to allow his child to be born out of the look. So the whole point was, if after a certain period of time, I think a year, if she doesn't like it, that they will probably, you know, go their separate ways. But guys, I'm not going to tell you the ending. You need to read it. It's an amazing read. It was my favorite read for the month of August. So the last book I read for the month of August is this book, John Bryanston, then John Johnson, the Bridegroom. So this book, guys, this book. I have to tell you guys that the intro is very intriguing. You know, all girl power. I want to be independent. You know, I don't want to um, fall for any man. Looking at how her twin sister was treated by her husband, to mention a few. It's an amazing read. I don't like. Um, you find it me talking about this book in my August period. So, guys, thank you for watching this video. Do remember to like, to share, to subscribe, turn on the notification button. I'll see you guys in my next video. You can check out what I plan to read for the month of September. And also, guys, this is my first wrap up video. I hope I tried. <laughs> Give me a thumbs up, guys, if you think I tried in this video. Um, bye.